And you guys, it's day number 87 of my 365 day Jimmy Ice Bath Challenge. I've been getting into an ice bath every single day in the year 2022. 32 degree temperature generally around that. We'll see what it is here in a minute for five minutes a day. That's been my modus operandi since January the 1st. And I plan on going all the way to December 31st with this. The uh, temperature of the water today, 37 point seven degrees fahrenheit and uh we're about to get my body inside of that ice bath so if you've never seen it before this is the ice bath that i get into it's a company called morosco forge and if you missed it earlier today i posted a video interview that uh the ceo of morosco forge conducted with me they've been very intrigued by watching my uh, journey. They've been very excited to see me doing this because they try to convince their customers all the time, hey, do regular cold therapy and you're going to get the benefits from it. So I'm showing real people in real time what getting into an ice bath consistently can do for your health. So they really enjoyed that. So anyway, I had a nice conversation with Dr. Thomas Seeger He's an engineer, but he's the CEO and co-founder of the Morosco Forge company that makes this ice bath that I use. And so we had a great conversation, you guys. I mean, went into so many little areas. I will probably make a few more reels out of it because there was such good nuggets of truth all in there. So, so hello, guys. Thanks for being here. So today I want to address somebody on Twitter because... I posted that interview with Dr. Seeger, uh, with me, on Twitter, and this guy had a very interesting comment that I want to address directly. So we'll get to that here in just a moment. Let's set you down, tilt you down, let you see all the action. Watch me wiggle my body into all that ice. I very likely will go on a walk afterwards, just like I did yesterday. I really enjoyed that. So uh, stay tuned, you guys. Five minutes on the clock. Going to tilt it sideways a little bit so I can see the clock as it's counting down. And here we go. Oh, there's a big block. Hang on. There's a big block. All right, you guys, I want to address, I think his name was Jeff on Twitter. So Jeff, if you're watching this, hello. Thank you for your comment on my tweet that I put out there about one of the ice things that I've been talking about. He made the comment, no thanks, I don't think I need that. 
okay, cool. No worries. No skin off my back. I just think anyone who wants to raise their metabolic health and improve it even more, this is something worth considering. And all I do is share the information. Don't shoot the messenger. Have a nice day. He wrote back to me, look, I have a great A1C. My weight is relatively under control. So I don't think I want to put myself through his words, torture in order to somehow improve my metabolic health. So that got me to thinking, is an ice bath torture? Is what I'm doing right now torturous? I suppose if you're looking at it as someone who has never got adapted to cold, yeah, this probably does seem like torture to you. And I explained back to him, look, it's not torture. It took me three years to get to this point where I can get in an ice bath and be comfortable with it and actually enjoy it. There's a few little things I don't like about it. My hands are really numb right now. Toes are getting kind of numb. The rest of my body's pretty okay. My head is on fire. I'm ready to dunk it underneath the water. Uh, and since I was a little bit late getting in, I'm gonna wait till it beeps before I go below the water. Then I'll go under the water. Uh, but torture, this is not torture. Like, come on. Torture is waterboarding people. Torture is setting them on fire. Torture is torture. This is not torture. This is uncomfortable. I will give you that. But it's designed that it's supposed to be uncomfortable. If it was comfortable, how would you be getting the hormetic response that you're looking for? You want your body to be a little bit stressed out doing this, a little bit, in a good way. Stress in this context would be a good thing. And so I definitely would not have the hy hyperbole of saying that this is torture. Is it difficult? You betcha. Is it something that not everybody would ever do? They wouldn't. That's a more accurate description, but torture? Come on, bruh. We got better things to describe as torture. An ice bath at the end of the day is most certainly not one of them. All right. It's about to beep. I'm going to go under when it beeps. Yes, that is such great torture. <laughs> torture. Who thinks an ice bath is actually torture? I get it from the mindset of I've never done that before. So let me ostracize this thing that I've never done before. Let me describe it as torture so I get off the hook of ever having to try it. That's what I hear when somebody says torture about this. All right, you guys know what I did yesterday. I'm going to put on a shirt and we're going to go walk around the block here in just a moment. If you missed yesterday, um, one of the things that came out during my interview with Dr. Seeger was if you do an ice bath and then do something as simple, activity-wise, as simple as just taking a walk, you can actually help boost your testosterone if you're a male. So Jimmy is never opposed to boosting his testosterone levels if all it takes is a walk after the ice bath. So that's what we're doing right now, you guys. It's a nice bright sunshiny day as well. So that always helps. So we'll step out here. But what do you think about this? Do you think an ice bath is torture? I don't. Like, I get in an ice bath every day. It's 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Is that pleasant? No. It's very uncomfortable. It's very much a challenge. And you guys saw me pull my hands out that last minute because my hands, that's the worst part. If you ever really push yourself to go into cold, icy water, just expect your hands and your feet to be the first thing that you notice 
have any perception of pain. And maybe it's the maybe it's the pain in the hands and the feet that he considers torture. So those of you that came in late, this guy on Twitter basically called me out on one of the posts that I did about ice baths. And he said, oh, I don't need that. My A1C is good. My weight's stable. I don't understand why I have to put myself through that kind of torture, Jimmy. And so that word torture has just been stuck in my head. Is an ice bath torture? Because when I think of torture, I think buried alive. I think, you know, placed on fire. You know, th- those things are torturous. Hung up by your... <laughs> that would be torture. Um, getting in a cold bath? Not torture. I don't, I don't, I don't get that one, so... Anywho, let's see who else here today. A little bit less than we normally have at 5 o'clock, but that's all right. The few, the proud. Mr. Broster is here. Linda's here. Donna's here. Debbie. Wild Rose. Laura. Debbie says, hey, Jimmy. What's up, Debbie? Laura also says, hi. Aviv is here. Inko Einerson is here. Debbie says, icebergs. Yes. When I got in, usually when I when I get out there, I always check ahead of time to see if if I uh, if I have big blocks like that. And I didn't even I didn't even see it today. So anyway, when I got in and I felt that, I was like, "Whoa!" Got sticking my body in there until that's broken up a little bit. But that's all right. We take care of the icebergs. No uh, Titanic here. <laughs> uh, Samja is here. Ali is here. Sheena. Ready Aim Keto. I like that name. Ready Aim Keto. That's cool. Asa is here. Smalarista here on day number 87, you guys. Trash guy came. I thought I'd take care of that while I was here. James is here. Debbie says, LOL. Holly, Zoe, one, two, eight, new, new era. Raymond is here. So guys, here on day 87, I am discussing this idea that somehow an ice bath is torture. Where does that come from? Is that a mentality thing or is it an actual thing? I'm going to argue it's a mentality thing. What's up, Raymond? I'm going to argue that anyone who does anything that's hard is going to describe that hard thing as torture, okay? When I started doing fasting, extended fasting, people are like, oh my gosh, I would not torture myself by starving myself. And I was just like, wow, listen at how we talk to ourselves about the hard things in life. Even think about when you went carnivore or keto. Oh my gosh, how do you live without bread? That's torture. Why do we use a word like that? That has a very specific meaning in my mind. I'm a word guy, so when I hear somebody use the word torture, I I take it pretty literal. Torture is not living without bread. Torture is not going a few days without eating. Torture is not getting into a 32 degree ice bath. Those are all means to an end to make yourself healthier. And yet people like this guy on Twitter decide to use that word. It's not torture. I think we gotta get away from hyperbolic language and say what we mean. Is it hard? Yes, I would definitely describe all of those things. Fasting, keto, ice baths. It's hard, sure is. Is it challenging? Yes, certainly. For sure, all of those things. Is it uncomfortable? Oh yeah, I've done all of them. Very uncomfortable. Torture? Not so much. Mama after his heart is here. Thanks for being here, you guys. So what are your thoughts on this? Do you think... The descriptive term of torture applies when it comes to an ice bath or, for that matter, to fasting, to 
keto carnivore? Is it torture? See, to me, the imagery I have with the word torture is of someone doing something deliberate to hurt you. Uh, Raymond says, is playing any sport hard and challenging? Yeah. Would you call it torture, though, I guess? Not torture. <laughs> yes, yeah, so a great point. Same thing as a workout. But some people even call working out uh, Raymond torture. Oh my gosh, I can never go to the gym. It's torture. Wow, we are such drama people, aren't we? Drama, drama, drama. Shell Shell is here. Mama, after his heart, says it's mind over matter. I lost my mind, so it doesn't matter. That's how I answer that one. <laughs> um, yeah. I think the human mind is very persuasive. I think whatever we want to think, whatever we want to believe, we can think and believe literally anything. So, using very dramatic language like torture for an ice bath, like this Twitter person did, it does nothing productive. It does nothing great to make you convince you to even try this. See, this guy has already put in his mind such a preconceived notion of what an ice bath is by calling it torture. Would you purposely do anything that you know is torture? No. So what he's done, maybe even subconscious to him, what he's done is he has already talked himself out of something even before he gives it a serious consideration. I told him, I said, I started with warm showers three years ago. Warm showers. That was the biggest wuss with cold there was. And warm showers were not comfortable. Maybe I once thought they were torturous, even the warm showers. So I'd take my hot shower and turn it down to warm and just, uh, it was just bad. I just, I could barely stand it. And over time, I built up the tolerance. Raymond says, torture is doing podcast daily. Is that a shot at me, my brother? <laughs> I do a lot of podcasts. I know, I know. Uh, TVX is here. Texas Livingston is here. So those of you just coming in, we're on day number 87 of my 365-day Jimmy Ice Bat Challenge. If you watched yesterday, I talked about during an interview I did over the weekend with the CEO of Morozco Forge, his name, Dr. Thomas Seeger. He mentioned that there was a study that found doing cold therapy first and then going on a walk actually can boost your testosterone levels. And both him and the other co-founder of the company have been doing this. He's got his uh, testosterone up to 1,300, Dr. Seeger. And he's a 57-year-old man. And then Jason is the co-founder. He's in his low 40s. And his testosterone is 975. All they did was start squats, jumping jacks, walking after doing the cold. Because the study actually had them do exercise then the cold. And they found the testosterone went down when they did that. But if they flipped it, did the cold, then the exercise. And just 15 to 20 minutes is all it took. 15 to 20 minutes of moderate exercise and they saw that boost in the testosterone. So that's why I'm outside doing all this walking around around my property. But today's topic was inspired by Twitter. Good old Twitter. I like engaging with people on Twitter because they are a lot more science-minded typically they can be a little ugly as well, but this guy wasn't ugly. He just was making the case that, yeah, bro, I don't think I need all those ice baths. That looks like pure torture. Talked about his A1C being good and his weight being relatively stable. 
So he's like, I don't get it. Why would I put myself through torture just to get metabolic benefits that I already get from keto? It's a fair question. My question back to him was, why wouldn't you want, no matter where you are in your health, why wouldn't you want to do some modality that's going to move that needle closer to more health if you could? Like, I don't care where you are in your health at this moment. Think of the healthiest person you know. You got them? Got them in your mind? Think of that person. Now, if they're not currently doing cold therapy, do you think they could benefit from doing cold therapy? Of course they could. And so, that to me is the, that, that's the litmus test for me. If it's going to add benefit to your life, why would you not do it? Why would you not do it? Why wouldn't you even give it a consideration that it could be a possibility it's something that could help you? And that's all I'm saying. Most certainly not torture. Calling it torture just automatically turns off the brain. Okay, if I call it torture, turns off my brain, I don't have to think about it again. So he's going to see me posting all these videos and he's going to be like, okay, well, I've already told him it's torture. And in his mind, that's that. To me, that's horrible. Um, Carol Ann is here. Raymond says, you the man. Thank you. I am very much a man. <laughs> May is here. Laura Lynn says, yes, we need to think positive in order to stay positive. Of course. Yes. May says, hello, had a cold shower the other day, but I could only do 10 seconds. Hey, 10 seconds is 10 seconds. 10 seconds is better than zero seconds. I get, uh, like this guy on Twitter, I get people that say they would do no seconds because they think it's torture. So the fact that you did 10 seconds, celebrate that, May. Celebrate it. I think that's great. Raymond says, optimize, always optimize. Poison is in the dosage. And this guy, I, I guess people look at me getting into 32 degree Fahrenheit water for five minutes and go, oh my gosh. What they didn't see was that I did 10 seconds of warm water three years ago, hated it. Then eventually got cooler and longer till I got to cold water in my shower for an hour. And I was still not uncomfortable. That's when I needed to step it up. And I did by putting ice in a bathtub. And I did that for about a year. That got expensive and time consuming because you had to fill up the bathtub every day. You had to go buy the 20 pound bags of ice, dump them in there. And then I'm six foot three and the tub was four foot. So it just took forever to get all of my body under the water for just a few minutes. It was a pain in the ass. And so <laughs> now that I've gotten to the point where I can get a Morosco Forge, now I can get the whole body in there and get it done. And, but it took me a while to get there. It wasn't something I just jumped to right away. Do I think you could go from no cold therapy to 32 degrees? I don't think it's smart. I don't think that's wise. I think working your way down. This is one thing I'm going to put in my book, by the way. I'm writing a book about cold therapy starting in May. I'm already thinking of the concepts. And one of the concepts I'm going to heavily, heavily push is work your way down. Acclimate along the way. Those of you that lift, could you deadlift 300 pounds the first time you ever got in the gym? Probably not. Those of you that lifted for a while and you kept lifting, kept lifting, kept getting stronger and stronger, could you eventually get to a 300 pound deadlift? Maybe. Likely, if you stay committed to it. But how did you do that? You got acclimated and you worked your way to that level. Well, that ice bath that I do now at 32 degrees, that's my 300 pound deadlift. I've done this a while. Don't compare your own journey to other people 
because you're on your own journey and you haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> May says, oh no, pl- planes are spraying the sky. I mean, look, I don't know what to think about all the all the conspiracy theories about them poisoning the skies with these sprays. I don't, I don't think I believe that necessarily. But all I see is big, beautiful blue skies everywhere, May. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Uh, Leslie's here. Allie's here. Raymond says a single chemtrail, not so bad. Anna's here. Miss Chantal. Kira. Miss Chantal says, hello, Jimmy. What up, my dear? Mr. Smiles is here. Phyllis is here. So yeah, here on day number 87, I did a five minute ice bath in 32 degree temperature water. Somebody on Twitter today said he would never do that because that's torture. And that his health is just fine without having to put himself through that torture. And so I'm asking the question, is cold therapy torture? Taking a pair of pliers and trying to rip off your earlobes. That would be torture. Setting you ablaze. That would be torture. Running over you with a car. That would be torture. Ice bath, not torture. Uncomfortable, absolutely. Not torture. <laughs> I'm gonna underscore that till I'm out of breath. Yes, yes. Hello, Marcus. Thanks for being here as well. So. There you go, guys. Day number 87 in the can. Got a lot of uh, great ideas coming up to talk about here on the Jimmy Ice Bath Challenge videos. Appreciate you joining as always. Those of you watching on the replay on YouTube or Facebook or even here on Instagram, go follow me over on Instagram. I am Living Low Carb Man, L-I-V-I-N, L-O-W-C-A-R-B-M-E-N. And you can uh, watch these live, 5 p.m. Eastern time, every single day. Go follow me over on Instagram as I hear my chickens talking to me over here. Y'all making a lot of noise today? Yeah? Oh yeah, tell me more. They make a lot of noise. I love my chickens. They keep pooping me breakfast, I'll be happy with them. But go follow me over on Instagram. Would love to uh, have you come hang out, watch live, do these videos every day. It's been a lot of fun teaching you guys. And I got so many other things I want to talk about and new experiments coming up that I want to share as well. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? You want to be a part of it? Yeah? (laughs) They do make funny sounds, don't they? One of them sounds like she's laughing. (laughs) May says, I love your chickens. Yes, they are a hoot and a half. All right, guys. There's the torture chamber. Dun, dun, dun. No, that's not torture. About the worst thing I have had happen in the ice bath. Ooh, there's a big. Look at that. I missed that. Look how big that is. Well, just went under the water again. Um, The worst thing I had happen was day six when I cut my toes open on the ice. That was torture. That was pretty bad. (laughs) But that had nothing to do with the cold temperatures. That was Jimmy being stupid. So anyway, let me pop off of here for now. Thank you so much for joining us, you guys. And I'll be back again real soon. Bye, everyone.